our understanding of this is rapidly evolving. Um, the first evidence that I saw about the efficacy of boosters against Omicron came out yesterday. <laughs> there were three of them. Um, and so uh, I'm, I'm still learning about this along with the rest of you. So, uh, so I'm glad we get to have this conversation now because uh, we have more information than we did two days ago, for sure. Uh, it does seem like boosters provide a substantial improvement in um, a person's ability to neutralize the virus, the Omicron variant, um, relative to a person who has had two doses of the vaccine, or even a person who's had a dose of the vaccine and has been previously infected. And you mean neutralize as in prevent infection, prevent disease? Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I, I wanted to get to that next. So, um, so one of the things that we do to measure the immune response to a virus is we basically take either the virus itself or um, a benign version of the virus that looks a lot like SARS-CoV-2 and we mix it up with um, serum, which is the part of the blood that carries the antibodies. Um, and we see if that serum is able to prevent the virus or its analog from infecting cells. And that's what we mean by neutralization. So that is that is a part of the immune response and is definitely one of the parts of the immune response that's in, I believe is most responsible for preventing infections. So we really do care a lot about neutralizing antibodies and, and they can be good as uh, sort of a good proxy for how well our immune system might stand up. So these neutralization studies um, are some of our first lines of evidence because they're some of the quickest to run um, where we've been able to expose the blood of previously infected or vaccinated people against the Omicron variant. And we've seen that there definitely is a drop in this ability to neutralize the virus, um, but that boosting can increase your odds of neutralizing the virus quite a bit. So that's one of the reasons why I think that boosters make an awful lot of sense right now. Um, but I really wanna reiterate, as we mentioned before, that these neutralizing antibodies are just one specific part of our immune response. Um, the other one that I want to bring up is uh, the part of our immune response that we know is um, really heavily responsible for protecting us against SARS-CoV-2. And, and those are the T cells, the T cell response, which neutralizing antibodies are very specific. They will identify a mustache and a coat and you know the very specific elements of that disguise. But T cells are better at sort of like taking a step back and seeing the entire virus for what it is. Mm -hmm. um, they have a broader spectrum response. And so we expect those to probably stand up much better against the Omicron variant than these neutralizing antibodies. So the neutralizing antibodies, these measurements that say that they decrease with Omicron, but increase with boosters, I think is very helpful. But also my hope is that the other parts of our immune response might actually fare even better than that. Um, but all of them will be increased by getting a booster.